Well, hello, people. Uh, I finally got round to watching Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> I'm a little bit late. But when I saw the trailer of this, I thought, that doesn't look a kind of film I'd like to see. Because the trailer, to me, looked like a bit of a, a cash grab. And I didn't want to spoil the memory of the original Blade Runner. Well, this new movie, The Blade Runner, well, so it's not new anymore. Very, very slow moving. It's hard to know where all the budget went on this movie. It's all the sort of effects to create the atmosphere. Didn't actually work for me. Because for me, it wasn't just slow moving, it was goddamn boring. In fact, I had to move it on a little bit every now and then to stop me nodding off. And I think I knew where the story was going before the movie did. What they actually did was make a story that would have lasted about maybe 30 minutes and dragged it out. Then, of course, they got Harrison Ford near the end to draw in the people, of course. And, of course, Harrison Ford's much better at action than he is acting. And, you know, I can still remember the original Blade Runner quite clearly in my head, but I'll forget this one very quickly. Oh, I haven't become a film critic. I just know what I like. Then some of the storyline kind of felt like it was made up as they went along. Now I'm sure it looked very beautiful on the big screen, but that's only one small part of a good movie. Anyway, guys, anybody's seen this movie, and probably a long time ago too, let me know what you thought of it. I mean, maybe if you speeded it up maybe 20 times or something like that, might not be a bad movie. No, not for me. It was a bit naff. So basically they turned it into all about a guy who falls in love with a replicant and they have a baby. Christ, it's the Titanic all over again. Boy, I know some people are saying this boring bastard. Does he like anything? Hey, I know what I like. I just haven't seen it around for a while. Take it easy.